I'm back with a monthly update on Cosmic Desktop, the Rust Edition. Cosmic's November updates bring awesome news, which I've been looking forward to. Things like quality of life improvements are still being made here on Rust, which I'm always a big fan of, and I assume the community is as well. So let's get into this one and discuss some of the changes that are coming to Pop! OS, the Rust Cosmic Desktop. This Thanksgiving, you're invited to join us at our table for a feast of cosmic delights. We're thankful for all the excitement and support and for being such a lovely community. Now sit back, relax, unbutton your gut, and engorge yourself in this cornucopia of updates. Excited is an understatement for some of us. Let's talk about the first thing, which is the floating window arrangement, and then I'll launch my own cosmic desktop environment build so I can show you what exactly they mean. The logic was established for where new windows will open. Each new window opens near the center of the screen, offset by one or multiple units 48 by 48 pixels from the previous window. The logic keeps the location of the new windows consistent while also keeping the top right corner of the window header visible for easy access to the close window button. So this is the first quality of life improvement here just in time for Thanksgiving. By the way, happy Thanksgiving for those of you who celebrate it and also wishing you a happy holiday season. Let's talk about this from the source build. All right, here I have a terminal on my cosmic Rust build using Pop OS, and I've updated some of the packages so we can try this out. They were using Firefox, so I'll do the same. I'll start up Firefox from a terminal, and to show what they mean, I'm going to launch a few tabs. After I've made a few tabs, I can now create new windows from these. Now notice what's happening as I'm creating these new windows. We can see from the focus in the background that when in the floating view mode, these windows are getting not only staggered, but indexed. So when they mentioned in the post that the windows will be indexed by 48 by 48 pixels, they're clearly talking about 48 pixels down and then 48 pixels over. At least from what I can tell here, that is the common theme. And you can see as I was opening those new windows, they are getting staggered and sent down. The reason they're doing this is because they want you to have access to the windows controls in a very easy fashion. That way you don't lose track of the windows as you're creating new ones. They are showing up on top of each other, but in a distinct staggered fashion, which gives you easy access to each individual window itself. You'll notice how easy it is if you did screw up and create or launch a window that you didn't want to, to simply exit out of the proper one because you can see the title and the page directly on your computer. So what does it look like if I actually make this a lot smaller and make a few of these? Let's launch these individually. What does that look like? You can tell again, there's this staggered format. You can also control any window that you want, very much the same, but you probably notice the smaller the window, the more centered it got across the screen. Very good. One other cool thing that you might've noticed at the bottom is officially a dock getting filled in. As we're launching various things, you'll notice some icons being filled in. Now this is something else that's super exciting and I have been waiting to preview for quite a while. Notice that we're finally starting to see some sort of a dock. This dock is growing as you launch applications. It seems to have the icons filled in and then the dots below actually show you how many windows in that application are launched, AKA Firefox currently has two, so I have the two dots at the bottom. A really sneaky preview given to us, but let's get back into reading about November's updates. Of course, they show us a preview themselves very much like we saw in my build. They're using Firefox to stagger windows. The design for shortcuts are currently in the works that will allow you to put floating windows into tiled positions, such as arranging the window in the left half or quarter tiled, which is simply shown here with a snapped window over on this right hand side of the screen, very much like windows. A lot of you will be familiar with this on windows where you can go to the top of the screen and select between various different tiling or window placement locations. Not sure how it's going to be enabled and work, but here's a preview. Moving on to drop down and image button widgets. These widgets were added as a part of an implementation of the appearance settings and wallpaper settings designs for both color picking and wallpaper selection. The drop down widget provides more advanced menus supporting multiple lists of options and separators between them, as well as the optional headers for each list. Meanwhile, the image button widget can be seen in the wallpaper settings, showing which background image or color is currently selected. This widget is defined by its rounded borders in an accent outlined 
and a check mark. Occasionally you'll see, you may see it used with a delete button in the upper right corner to remove a selection. On the subject of wallpapers, saved wallpapers now appear on the lock and login screens. And on to the next thing, which is the Cosmic Text Editor. So some more improvements to the desktop environment, introducing drop-down and image button widgets, all exciting to make Windows work properly and get your selections in correctly. Anyways, moving on to Cosmic Text Editor. Now I did a video on this particular one recently and it's starting to look good. I'll post a link in the description below so you can check that video out. And if you're enjoying these updates for Cosmic's Rust desktop environment, please make sure to smash that like button for me so I know to make more. We're gonna talk about many parts of the text editor which have already been built. Current features include Windows, window tabs, organizing files by project, as well as a Vim style editing and shortcuts, background change, detection to detect new edits to your file, and syntax highlighting, which color codes text for improved readability. Now here's a picture of someone using some Rust files and that syntax highlighting showing up in the background. Very good, as well as a tree kind of directory split view of the files and folders that belong to the Cosmic Edit project with some basic theming up on the top as well with the red accent colors. Very good. Their new editor is looking great and we can definitely see some of the code here even references text color in the dark and light themes. Back to my build, I'm gonna actually launch Cosmic Edit just to show one thing off. Again, I have a more comprehensive video on this that you can check out if you wanna learn more about the new Cosmic Editor coming to the Cosmic Desktop. And with the new editor launch, I'm just gonna show you around real quick. That way you get a feel for how things look. You can open or create a project. For example, I have this Cosmic Epic here and notice how we have plenty of files inside of here. That way we can open something up and just check it out. Uh, let's see, if I go to Applet, maybe just open up Cargo, you'll notice some syntax highlighting going on over here for this uh, type of file. There might be a better one here. For example, we have this AppRS file where you again notice some syntax highlighting here in this Rust file. If we open up main here, we'll have a main function, which seems to be using the iced Rust library and starts a few things up as well as write some information up about the particular program. Anyways, you get a feel for what this looks like. I just wanted to show you a little bit of the syntax highlighting and what the browser looks like actually using the Cosmic Editor. Anyways, back to the updates. MPRIS Audio gets an update with the interface being added to Cosmic's audio applet, providing a common API for controlling media players. It includes mechanisms for discovery, querying, a track list interface, and basic playback controls for compliant media players. That way, developers can integrate their media players directly into the desktop, refactoring of workspaces code, by design, Cosmic Windows will no longer span multiple monitors. Simplifying workspaces and shell as a whole, overhauling this code will allow us to fix a lot of outstanding bugs across many areas, including pop-ups, x applications, global workspace mode, maximizing and full screening. Learn more about this on GitHub for those of you who are interested about workspaces. But we're moving on to compositor improvements. The compositor has seen quite a few improvements this past month. Custom theming support was added, meaning it now uses your preferred theme you created in the appearance settings. Tracking improvements, for example, if you use the launcher to launch an application and switch workspaces, it still launches in the workspace that you opened it from. The Cosmic Compositor has been tested with the new 545 NVIDIA drivers to work out the latest kinks. IME, the input method editor, supports and provides a interface for entering text in language using syllabaries such as Chinese and Japanese support the extension session lock protocol, which authenticates the user and informs the compositor when the session should be unlocked. And finally, added restart capabilities of the Cosmic compositor to the Cosmic session. Some of this security context support has been overhauled. The context provides certain applications, Cosmic applets, access to special system privileges while restricting others to have the same access. XDG activation and DBus activation support these protocols allow actions in one application to open another, sometimes to a specific page or panel, such as the settings panel, and pass window focus to the application being called upon. Conversely, these protocols ensure that the applications are prevented from claiming window focus against the user's will. With a single instance application support, if an application is called upon while already open, it will navigate to the requested page rather than open that page in a new window. 
Finally, the last update here and some exciting news for other Linux distributions. That's right, the Cosmic Rust desktop is available on varying desktops, including NixOS, which I did a video about the project and effort going on to move Cosmic over to NixOS. Check that out. That's also in the description below, but it's also on Acai Linux. So Cosmic desktop environment now runs on Acai Linux, while Cosmic settings and Cosmic icons have been added to NixOS. We're excited to see our desktop environment becoming a part of more open source projects. This is exciting stuff. I highly suggest you check that video out next about Cosmic spreading to NixOS that I have. In other news, while HDR has not been added to Cosmic Desktop environment, a hacking project involving Victoria, a Cosmic engineer, has the ball rolling. In collaboration with Xaver, KD Dev, and Joshua Valve Contractor, the group was able to establish a preliminary HDR support on KDE, though this support does not include an EDID, which many games require for HDR to work. It does enable HDR in games like Cyberpunk 2077 that don't require this. This support will eventually be added to Cosmic Desktop Environment when it's ready. We're right stuffed from this Cosmic Feast, and we sure are because a lot of new updates are here for us in November. Join us next month for more news on our new desktop environment for Pop! OS and other distributions as shown before. Acai and Nix, don't forget to check out our Tuxmas holiday deals and save on a System76 computer. Happy Thanksgiving. And I do want to show that off as well. Tuxmas Black Friday bundles are here. Shop now. Check out the specials on System76's website because there are some Black Friday bundle deals happening right now, including things like laptops, desktops, and other discounts, all available including up to $400 off instantly when you buy a previous generation laptop. You won't want to miss these deals on System76's website. I'll post a link in the description below to this as well. Did you enjoy November's update? Don't forget, smash that like button. Catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux, and I break them down into simple-to-read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.